Hey you guys, we recently made this invoicing solution, it was in another video if you remember uh, and basically it was very simple, we have a bunch of animals uh, we have a bunch of information uh, linked to these animals we can sell them to a client, a client comes up, we sell them a few animals and then we can purchase new animals, we can do a purchase on a certain day where we uh, purchase all kinds of animals and if we uh, fill out those things correctly then what we can have here in our inventory um, or with our animal information we get a certain number of animals in stock now in our last exercise we also created an ability to correct this stock for instance if your calculation gives you a certain amount but the actual count in the store shows you a different um, amount you can correct the stock and today what we're going to add is some sort of a log we're gonna uh, log these corrections in a, a separate related table so that we can at all times see um, what kind of corrections we have made on which date for which animal and whether if it was like a positive correction or a negative correction so that we can create reports based on that as well um, so let's see what will we need for that we're gonna make a related table so let's go to file manage database and let's make a new table let's call this one um, stock log and let's add some tables as always I'm gonna start with an ID field uh, which is a number set to auto enter a serial number and then let's think a little bit um, what do we need uh, for the rest this will be linked to a certain animal so animal ID FK as a number field we need to uh, create a date for this uh, but that date could be entered automatically the moment we create this thing so let's make this a auto enter creation date then what else do we need we need to know um, what the calculated uh, stock amount was at that moment so calculated stock which is a number and this actual count that we made so count to stock that is of course that there is going to be a difference between the two and then what is that uh, difference is going to be a calculation that's basically going to show me what I had in my calculated stock um, and that's going to show my calculated stock minus my counted stock let's see if we have 10 here and we have counted 11 then we have one too many if we have cal uh, counted uh, 11 here and we have 10 it's one too few is this going to work? Is this going to be correct or do I have to do it the other way around? Uh, well, let's use this for now and let's see what that gives, shall we? Actually, I'm thinking it should probably be the other way around, but let's worry about that later. Let's go to File Manage Database and let's relate these new ones together. I have my stock log, uh, which has an animal ID FK, so I'm going to uh, attach this animal ID to this animal ID FK. There you go and this relationship has been made okay I do not need to allow creation for records because I'm gonna uh, not do that manually from here on I'm gonna let the script take care of that and then we need to show this log somewhere and I, I think the best way to go about is to create a tabbed object here so we can tab in between what's happening here and uh, between the other uh, the log that we're gonna make now so let's take all of these guys let's move them down a little bit, let's create a bit more space let's, create, let's bring all of this down and let's create a tab object here, a tab control let's make it like so then let's um, say that the first one was our balance and this one is going to be our stock log okay and all the rest is good for now and then let's go to position and let's put this one in the background and then let's have a look to see if that actually works no not yet this is a little funky thing in FileMaker um, which probably means that we're gonna have to select all of these fields and deselect this um, portal or this uh, tapped object and then let's move these fields around a bit and in fact let's make this one a little bit bigger yeah like so and I think yeah okay it's a little bit of uh, trying this stuff out but uh, this is working now um, let's make this a slightly bit bigger let's 
So let me have some spare room. Okay. Um, there you go. Now we would like to add our stock log. Um, so let's create a portal here. Show records from our stock log. Uh, we don't want to sort, or maybe by date, um, by date, and then in descending order. We don't want to filter. We don't want to allow deletion. We do want to show a scroll bar. So let's do that. Then from our stock log, which fields do we need? I don't need the ID. I don't care the animal ID. I don't care about either because I will be seeing what animal ID we're talking about here. I'm going to need the calculated stock, the counted stock, and the difference, and the date as well. Maybe the date can be in the front. And let's click OK. And then we have this uh, new portal, and we just need to add a few uh, labels on top. So I'll quickly do that by going to my text fields, and I'll create a few labels like this. So I've added my labels on the top, and I've changed my fields a little bit looking pretty good let's exit our layout and in our stock log basically basically now we can't see anything yet here now we need to uh, enter um, records in here uh, every time that we kind of make a stock correction we've already got a script running when we hit this button so let's just amend this script and let's add some stuff to it um, what we're going to need to do is we need to go to this um, table and uh, create a new record uh, but we need to set some some stuff in this record. We need to set the product ID or the animal ID in this case uh, The date is not necessary because it's going to be uh, based on the creation date But then we need the calculated stock value the counted stock value and uh, to calculate the correction So let's see what kind of variables we're already setting here. We're setting the variable for the animal ID Which is good. That's the uh, the one we need, but we need two more. So let's uh, go ahead and create them right here. Um, or in fact, let's have a look. What else do we have? We have a variable here. That's an amount. Um, that is the in stock value minus. So this is basically the correction, but we're going to calculate that correction. So this we don't need. Uh, let's just go and add a few variables here. Let's go set variable and say calculated stock and that will be our in animals it will be our c in stock value uh, okay and then let's set another variable it's going to be our counted stock and this will be specify this will be our which one is that correction I think this was the correction uh, field here let's have a little peek here it's this one that we use so this correction yeah that's the correction field that's basically the stock that we, that we enter um, that we need then okay and I think maybe at the end of this script we might want to clear those fields as well uh, at least that uh, correction there um, but we need, we need to add that here okay let's think for a second we have our variables animal id stock so we have our animal id our stock that's calculated our stock that's counted and that's about all we need um, these uh, things are happening um, like they should um, this is a script we made before now basically at the end here before we go to our original layout let's go to our stock log so let's uh, add a go to layout step layout stock log which is still on the bottom here and then let's create a new record let's go to records new record request and let's set a few fields because we've just made a new record now we need to set the fields which one is the first one we're going to set because we're going to be on our stock log we need to set our animal ID FK with the animal ID value that we have here. We're going to copy it from here and then we're going to paste it in here. Okay, very simple. Same for the rest. Um, another set field step and another one. We need to set our... This is kind of annoying. If you don't like needing to change this, then basically what you could do is just go to this stock log and then when you hit specify here, it will show you the fields for the stock log. Um, the calculated stock will be 
uh, this one here, calc stock. So let's copy and let's specify and paste. And for this one, we need the counted stock. And that was this one, the counted stock. Let's copy and let's paste. Okay, looking pretty good, I would think. Let's save this and see what this gives when we go to our layouts for our animals and we go into browse mode. Um, then we can see that we have 44 calculated in stock, but let's say that we've only got 43 when we actually count it. Um, so let's correct the stock. This uh, corrects this to 43. Let's look at our stock log. It also creates a uh, this is stock correction here. Let's look at our log. And we have on this date, we calculated 44, but we have 33, uh, 43. So the difference is one. Um, in fact, um, we had one less than we should have had. So actually this difference should be minus one. In fact, let's go ahead, let's do a little test here. Let's say that we have 43 in stock um, but we have counted 45. If we correct the stock, then this gives us a minus two. But actually we had thought we had 43, but we have two extra. So basically this one should be plus and this one should be minus. Let's change that around by going to file manage database and going to the stock log and changing this, these values here. Let's control X this one out and let's paste it here so let's do our counted stock minus our calculated stock and let's see what this gives this means we had one too few but this one we had two extra so basically every time that we um, create a correction now we can see it logged here now these are the same dates let's move this to another date and then we can see uh, basically kind of the uh, the history of corrections that I have made and then you can use this um, you can use the information in this table to create reports uh, that might be grouped by animal to show you all the corrections and you can search within date ranges and stuff like that to uh, find out some uh, more about what's going on and what kind of differences you're having positive ones or negative ones I hope this was interesting and if you have any more questions let me know ciao